In this video, we will see the MongoDB's indexing which allows you to optimize your queries. Let's start from the initial stage that is the introduction to indexes or what indexes are actually. Indexes in any database are quite similar to a book's index. So instead of looking through the whole book, we just take a shortcut and just look at its table of contents that is an ordered list basically which allows us to find the information faster. So basically a query that does not use an index is called a table scan which means that the server has to look through the whole database to find a query's result. So they support the efficient execution of queries. And this process is basically what you would do if you were looking for information in a book without any index or table of content. So it helps you increase the speed of querying the data. It is a great way to fix queries as they organize data by a given field to let MongoDB find it quickly. It keeps all its values in a sorted order so it makes sorting documents by the index key much faster and indexes are basically trees with the smallest value on the leftmost leaf and the greatest on the rightmost leaf. So you can say that the indexes are similar to the data structures that we have called trees in the C. Now, without indexes, MongoDB must scan every document in a collection to select those documents that match the query statement. So without the proper indexes, the only way to satisfy the query is to scan all documents linearly until the query conditions are met. Hence, MongoDB must scan every document of a collection to return a masked query statement in the form of a document. Or this simply means scanning the entire collection. Hence, indexes basically reduce the amount of work required to fetch the documents. Like for example, on the screen, you can see this is your MongoDB database and when you do scanning over all the collections, it will return and match the query statement with a single document. So it will take a huge time to go through the entire collection. Therefore, indexes will help you reduce that time. Now, collections scan are inefficient because they require MongoD to process a larger volume of data for each operation. As a book's example given earlier, from that we can see that collection scans are highly inefficient and require the MongoD to process a large amount of data for every operation or we can say that for every query. Next, it says that the index stores the value of a specific field or set of fields ordered by the value of the data. So there are two parts to an index that an index can be on a specific field, say for example, an employee collection or a set of fields, say for example, the employee ID or it can be applied on the multiple field that is both on the ID and the name of the employer. And they are being ordered in ascending or descending. Whatever the order is being specified in the query, that is one for the ascending order or minus one for the descending order. So here you can see the diagram explains that indexes can be either on a specific field or on set of fields, or they can be applied on the multiple fields altogether. Now, Next, it says that indexes are special data structures that store a small portion of the collection's data set in an easy to traverse form. Means MongoDB's indexes actually work almost identical to typical relational database indexes. So use of indexes in the database basically make a great difference in the query times because indexes do not let MongoD to scan the whole database and as the collection size increases, use of indexes in databases are much efficient. Therefore, indexes in MongoDB are similar to indexes in other database management systems. So an index keeps all of its values in a sorted order, so it makes sorting documents by the indexed key much faster. Then MongoDB even defines indexes at the collection level and supports indexes on any field or subfield of the documents in a MongoDB collection. Therefore, MongoDB defines or supports the indexes at the collection level. MongoDB even supports the secondary indexes, or you can say that it can create indexes on fields 
such as embedded means these sub documents like for example we have a collection which has an employee document and it has a sub document say department so mongodb also supports indexes on the sub documents field say department id field hence indexes are very important with the right indexes in place mongodb can use its hardware efficiently and also it will serve your application queries quickly but wrong indexes could even produce the opposite result that is your queries will be slower and your hardware will be poorly utilized so if proper indexing approach is chosen it could be highly beneficial actually this diagram even illustrates that indexes can be applied on the collections level or they can be even applied on the sub field or you can say the sub document here the sub document simply means the embedded document therefore indexes is highly to be used in mongodb